Or do we go overcrowding into carp? See. Like I'm still an advocate of the medicine tree. Going straight medicine is tough though. But do I really need overcrowding that early? Do you really need it that early? What I definitely need is healing fire. Should be pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, and as first we're gonna build the dock here so we can get our chief relatively early. Definitely gonna clear myself. I still don't know if like healing fire is worth taking clear away from the from the wolf. I'm still on the fence for that. We have a two tile here. Oh, it's a free tile. No clue how to put free buildings on here. It will work. It will work. That's not going to be super easy. It would be a nice tile to put two farms on. Honestly. Uh, because it's pretty safe. But I'm not sure if I can fit two farms on here. Uh, we will see. We'll surely have a try on that. That's a lot of sheep. More wolf. In the end, a nice little cozy corner that I have here. Seems pretty nice. Usually I want to end up with two docks and two woodcutters lodges on my main tile. And I'm going to have two farms on this tile. So like my two main tiles, which I'm going to be healing. Seems like a good deal. I would guess. I guess then I'm gonna go for this tile here to build my uh, shaman camp. But right now, we're just vibing. Actually, slow down there. I need enough food to actually go for that tile. I guess I'm just gonna send my scouts back soon. A little bit more income. Now we're basically waiting to get 10 villagers and 150 gold so we can pop our chief. Start clearing around us. Take those yummy sheep. Right now, what is here? Draugr. Okay, nice. So as soon as I clear these three wolves, I have... This is, it is as good as a free for all start as you can ask for. <laughs> I think a few years ago, this would have been a two tile. But I think they patched them out of the game, right? And I think that's great because two tiles... Ah, shit. <laughs> Nobody likes them. I don't think anybody likes having a tile with only two building slots on it. And why would they? Basically just uh, slows you down. And yeah, now with the lore it would be even more hurtful, right? Because you really need to go for that tile because there's your lore on it. But it's a two tile, so you're getting yourself at a disadvantage against other ones who have three tiles. <laughs> Uh, so you're gonna need to colonize a tile earlier than the other one. The other people. Kill that wolf. Kill it good. Oh. Try to get up to 20 feet. Don't have that much time anymore. That's why I pulled the woodcutter. Could press the overwork button, but I want to work. Uh, wait until... A little more... Yeah, in the long run, I don't know, we have a second stone over there. We could definitely aim at um, strong shamans. Very, very strong shamans. Can imagine that. You like I wanna pull one of the sailors? I think they're gonna be gone for too long. Good thing is being housed doesn't mean anything for me here. The villager is still popping out. Zabulada. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> like two tiles are always great with uh, overcrowding. It must be really lovely. 
But it is not one, right? It is not one. It is an actual... Yeah, it's a free building tile. I don't think two tiles exist anymore. They just patched them out. It's just going to be the question if you are able to actually build two buildings on them, which should be possible, honestly. And yeah, like I said, I think that's great. I don't think two tiles should be a part of the game. I'm glad there aren't, really. So we got a chief scene. Somebody took the middle. Also not that far away. Could have thought about snacking that. What a bore. Bored at that. Very much behind in fame. It's fine. Chief Tom. Oh, oh. Don't have overcrowding yet. Let me take a second woodcutter then. We can overwork, so we can make more out of our camp there. Oh, we should have built the shaman camp in my main tile. But I'm not, like, I'm gonna trigger. We go for legions for cheaper army, right? Yeah, that's gonna be really insane if i have like cheaper army plus uh, enrollment means i'm gonna end up with super cheap army and um generating military experience permanently with the shaman camps that i want to have up anyway i think i want one of these in the main then i need to upgrade my main tile though um yeah Let's see how we do that Slay the sheep, go for that tile, build the farm on it. That's a little bit too late for the farm, honestly. But we're gonna need to work the lore. We really need that. And I guess we need the farm just for population purposes. Let's just start overworking now. We're gonna have one at the start here already. Might even lose this will here, which isn't too bad. I'll be fine. Again, four tiles feels sad. Why not fetch him out for four tiles? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Do you mean like the free tiles? It would be nice to have five tiles everywhere, right? Four tiles are great. I love them. Don't patch them out. Make them mandatory. So I mean, patch free tiles out. We all want all four tiles. We need to think less and uh, add more. <laughs> Isn't that what we all want? Get more resources for doing less work. Um, who does meh? But it's it. Get sheep over here. Usually I would go straight medicine. I think we're gonna do that. Because now in the winter. Let's go for the tile there. We have sheeps that we can kill. And then we can just start mining some stone. Healing up. Getting ready. Having a grand old time. All you have to do first thing is about <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, makes sense. Like, I like faster games. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. It is actually true. Like, if you would make any tile have more building slots, in the end, the games would end up being slower, uh, faster, because you don't need to buy as many tiles, giving you... Like, you don't need to gain the food, and therefore you are uh, gonna get your army f quicker on the field, because you just like, need to waste less resources, right? Waste in comparison how to it were before. But... 
I think it's good how it is, right? Like right now the the tile system and everything is definitely nothing I would change about Northgard. Pretty nice to being forced to think about what you actually put on your tiles. That uh, gives it a little bit of strategical depth other games don't have. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. What do you think? Can I put two farms on here? I think it really does not work. I think it really does not work. Isn't there a way to flip the building? Oh. I still don't think it works. Here, cut off line is that thing over there. I could maybe, maybe it could work. Maybe it could work. I would rather have it over here because this tile here is a lot safer than this tile here if it actually comes to some aggression here. Hmm. I could go for overcrowding now to basically test it for sure. But maybe, maybe, maybe we're just gonna, we're just gonna trust. Trust, boys. Ah, yeah, come on, screw it. The shaman camp is not gonna fit on there. <laughs> the shaman camp is just not gonna fit there. It is just not going to work. Which key is it to flip buildings? I have no clue. It flipped automatically. <laughs> but you can set it up. Give me one second. Go into your options. There will be like somewhere here will be flip building. And you should be able to flip it. If they didn't get rid of it here. Flip building. I have no button set for it. Because the button set for it is usually F. And F is select all scouts. And I never flip my buildings. Therefore I just don't have a key to, for it. But you can set to whatever you would love to have. No problem. No problem. So we can build a shaman camp here. We can develop the zone already. I think. Don't really need food right now. Yeah, we can develop a tile. Oh, there you go, stay over <laughs> What's up, Boney Maroney? Yeah, you gotta flip them at the right timing, though. If you flip them too early... Um... They can, can sort of, like, they get a little dried out, you know? No, it's wrong. <laughs> if you flip them too late, they get dried out. And not too often. Yeah, that's true. Also, we'll let them dry out. Really watch out. The best way to flip a building is once. You wait until there's a little bit sweat on the one side and then you flip them once, like high heat. It's gonna be delicious. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm talk talking buildings, right? Mm. More overwork. And put out. Oh my god. My lore master died. That is why my lore is that bad. Yeah, these will die. Also, fine, since it's gonna trigger my healing fire. Why not too often? Never understood that. Especially when I'm just bored during cooking, I just flip it. Um. Is this, I don't know. Like, I couldn't explain it to you, like, scientifically. Um, yeah. I know, like, you basically just want to have it come in contact with the heat once, because otherwise it just loses too much of its um, juices, more or less. <laughs> Why don't you build houses? You don't build houses at all. Every building that I build gives me one uh, slot, basically. 
I can show you as soon as I reach overcrowding because that's the point when I want to build more buildings and you can see whichever building I build if I build a woodcutter's lodge now I have 15 if I build a shaman camp I get 16 like when I built the woodcutter's lodge before I don't want to I don't want to confuse you <laughs> every building has one uh, building slot basically and you cannot build houses at all at all that is pretty cool you cannot feast you. You can only overwork. That gives you a 40% production bonus on everyone. But um, they also lose health permanently. So you will need to, not permanently, but while they overwork. So you need to heal them. But your war chief can heal. And your shamans can heal. Like your special military unit of the red clan. They can also heal. So that's why I go straight for medicine. Have healing being 50% quicker. And then more or less spam this button here. Spam this button. It would have been so neat to have the two farms and the woodcutter slot, uh, the shaman camp on here, because the lore master wouldn't die all the time. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. You don't have... Uh, no, you cannot build healers. I'm pretty sure. I never thought about it. No, you cannot build healers. <laughs> like, I never had the thought on red, okay, I need healers right now, because your units can do it, right? They can usually do it a little better. Also, if villagers die, I don't care about it. Because if she dies now, my... Right here, purification pyre is ignited. That means all of these uh, shaman camps, basically the flame in there starts burning, which means I get permanent lore production. You can see there, 3.1 population, 1.3 sailors and plus one purification pyre. The more shaman camps I have, the more it is. So I get 0 0.5 lore production for everyone. And because of my lore healing fire, every unit is gonna be healed within a tile with a shaman camp so that's pretty poor yikes oh, i can use lose a few people but i mean i had a lot of games where red players demanded that i don't clear them so they can always kill like the units around them but i personally i just lose the villages man like you're getting a lot of happiness on red like you're not having too many problems on red with happiness you're not really thinking about a uh, brewery or stuff like that the villagers will just come naturally more or less <laughs> it's a very very attractive town here they just love to come like you don't need to <laughs> you don't need to bait them in they just come come automatically oh some more should actually use that tile right mm. yeah and overcrowding by the way is pretty pork because i have I upgraded this longship dock now. That means all the sailors on the tile get better production. Means also these sailors here. So all the sailors get 20% production bonus. Now imagine what happens if I upgrade this. <laughs> all the sailors on the tile are going to get 40% production bonus. So basically doubled it right there. Maybe I just build a shaman camp up there. Maybe not with the villager that will die during the process of building the camp. Just maybe. Just maybe. There. I have no clue. I don't really know too much about the meta builds, to be honest. Especially for red. Generally not a full meta player, oftentimes. But especially this build, I don't know. But let's say an 
normal eating and breathing person usually has no need for a brewery. You will be fine without one. I want to say that there's like no situation where it could make sense. Would maybe go a little too far. I think we can just overwork, who cares? Should more or less p permanently overwork. Hmm, chip building. Yeah. <laughs> In not total crap. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I could imagine it. I don't know if it's that super worthy for myself and what I do with the rat, but it doesn't mean that everybody does the same thing I do with the rat, so... There are maybe ways where you could exploit that a little more in the nicest sense of the word. Mr. Shaman, just come over here. The farmer seems kind of fine. People here seem to be dying left and right. Oh yeah, that's good. Get the ruin. Like some lore in it. Should be helpful. Going towards 802. When an earthquake is coming, I usually like to have villagers around most of my tiles. You see, so I can instantly send her over, repair that, and she's already on her way to repair that. You don't have long ways for villagers to repair the buildings, and like the people are not standing around idle for all too long. Minus 15 food production. Hiya! That's a lot. That's a lot. Somebody trying to win? Not yet. Not yet. Probably at some point. Oh, yeah. Let me get that up. It's right there. It is a free for all, yeah. On the Katkita. It is basically a 1v1v1v1. We won against everyone. No friends, all foes. We may just get a scout back. At least one of them. The other one can still roam around. Yeah, we're around the time frame where the droggers start attacking. I should still. St keep overworking since I have the medicine tree and I should permanently overwork basically also clear this out it's at 500 at 200 all the people in my t uh yeah that are healed consume for 30 percent less wood Five hundred, I just get more population. The maximum duration of purification pyre is enlarged. In the late game, that is pretty good. In the late game, that is pretty good. Uh, dragon, orc, owl, right now is absolutely broken in half, so it should be pretty strong and free for all too. Um, yeah. It's not all of it. It's something. Still gotta get the relic on my way. Definitely. Just go up there. We keep overworking. It should be. It should be. 
Like you want a clan that can get in a really, really strong late game state where it's hard to stop. Clans like Wolf, Boar, <laughs> maybe even Goat. Un like Goat is really stretching it. Goat can get relatively strong, but it's not as strong as a lot of the other clans. Um, like. If they are they are really strong in late game, they they are just not as super strong in team games because there are clans like Wolf and stuff, which can really stop Ox and everything, right? Wolf and uh, Goat and Boar, which I said, they have a they have a clear maximum at which they are not really that strong and cannot really uh, grow that much anymore. The other clans, Ox owl and everything they don't really have a maximum or that maximum is so high that it's pretty hard for other clans to stop them hmm. yeah ox hates clearing themselves but ox just needs to not get attacked for a while if you don't get attacked for a while you get your sweet time to actually build everything up you're gonna be at an amount of eco which is really hard to fight against I should really go for a warrior army and not go for shamans here because shamans are cool for healing and everything but other than that they're actually pretty trash not a good unit I do have our shaman a whopping 8 attack this is basically a shield bearer, but a lot like one less resistance, which is quite a bit. Okay, he's the lore and fame leading player, so it should be the one I try to take out first. Keep overworking. We'll probably need to upgrade a farm. Then I don't need to upgrade as many shaman camps here. Oh yeah, I can get a lot of stone. Like if I upgrade a shaman camp, they get 5% more health. So there were a lot of strategies where you just upgrade a bunch of shaman camps. Remember, I can even build multiple ones on one tile because of overcrowding. I just upgrade all of them and um, my shamans will have 100 plus HP. Then they are pretty strong. It's usually not the case there. Usually not where you're gonna end up. The line might go for a faith win here. Honestly, he went for the faith relic. We might need to take care of the uh, the line first. Leaving the boar alone. Line is a lot scarier on free for all. Again, one of the clans which can get pretty scary if left alone. And especially in this game here, I don't really think that the players are building up enough pressure to, towards the other players. Do that. What's there? Get rally for the ready for the relic. Red relic, pretty good one. Getting a little boar there to help me out. Yeah, this is, this line is scary. Yeah, this line is scary. Playing a relatively slow strat, but still very, very scary, but uh, up there. Need to clear that tile up there. Yeah. Might just skip that. Hmm. Problem is we're not gonna get it done, but I don't really want to skip it anymore. Hmm. Yeah, that's 
Definitely, definitely. Warriors are just like default a little better. overworking it also help me with a relic <laughs> build a second forge that's cool and then i go for the same relic interesting just for the warrior upgrade ah mm, ah mm. build of building a nice idea generally but do i want to blow 60 on that I don't know. But thanks for the idea, man. But yeah, I don't know. Seems like too much of an investment for one upgrade. Would have been actually ultra fun if I would have been able to like uh, build a second forge and then forge the relic with them, you know? Forge the relic with four guys. <laughs> Need more healers? I think so. People are dying, dying left and right. Also doing stuff. Like I'm on the bottom of everything, so why would they ever think that I do something? Never ever. Good wise, we're doing pretty good. Losing a lot of builds right now. We're also having a lot of happiness to get new builds. There's that. We have so much stone, man. We have so much stone, man. Could go for a bunch of shamans. You are the streamer. Ah, it makes sense, makes sense. see it um the mold strap might be able to go blood ties here still the relic is well on its way i need to keep overworking so the relic is done quicker i'm having <laughs> like i'm pretty paranoid on what's going on over here it doesn't seem too crazy with the faith because the relic got nerfed after all. But still scary. A lot of upgraded buildings, a lot of upgraded champion camps and stuff. Even though you don't really want to upgrade multiple of those, right? Am I am I wrong? I used to do that, but I stopped it because I think it doesn't like if i upgrade a warrior camp it gives my warriors five percent attack and attack speed no only attack speed um i could actually go for that since i have much left could think about that i'm not really having a lot of fame though now i'm just like having my eyes locked on this guy and trying to take him out for livability ah okay okay maybe maybe does it give you bonus livability if you upgrade a child <laughs> so what's up right now i'm just gonna try to make quick work off the line there not really gonna be quick work but at least getting rid of him
It actually does. Okay. Uh, maybe. I can't see the livability if I press I, right? I can't see the livability. Okay. Well, maybe. Didn't build a second dock, though, to upgrade the production on the dock. But if you go full faith, then you don't really need it, right? Boar's also going more lore. Interesting. <laughs> we are scouting more. It is a dragon. Did he random into dragon? Seemingly. Deflect. Lion is fighting something. Gonna be able to see everything. Let's build more camps. Still might want the majority of camps to be shaman camps because they actually give me something when the purification pyre ignites. Dragon is also a little out of control, right? Everyone is doing pretty good. Maybe we are actually getting at least a few god shamans. More or less only for the healing. Because we don't have iron to upgrade them anymore. We could go for that tile, but I think it's just getting too long then. Now, we're gonna get rid of the biggest danger, which will be the line. Running around with army there. Well, maybe it's actually the dragon, but the dragon is way too hard to reach for me. Stop, Alexa. Stop, up. Hello? Yeah. Scouts back home. See all of the tiles now. Thing is done. And we build our relic. Do it over here. And we get our boar. Soonish. Mm -hmm. Still getting healed there. There we go. Up the raid. Got pretty cheap army anyway. One more camp. Build up food for my piggy and uh, army ready. Gonna go for blood ties. Yeah, why not? Then let's go Baldur's blessing for more happiness and therefore more builds. You scout us the bird. <laughs> could be, could be. Um, food is going up rapidly. Start over work again. Food is going up even more rapidly. Yeah, we can very well agree that the bird is the word. This is very basic knowledge. So they here should not get healed enough anymore, so they all get low. So then converting them into army is a lot cheaper. I 
That's what we're gonna do. Is he low enough already? Yeah. Still got a few shamans. Seal the worries. The shaman should stay here. Oh, we don't have enough military camps. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> See full healing now. If blood ties. Should go extremely quick because it's not that many units that can get healed anymore, so it's going that much quicker for the, the few that get healed. Let's go. Wrong button. Okay. Draugr attack down there. Keep in mind that there's something going on down there. Sending more army? Yeah, he's sending a bunch of army. I think he's sending too much army. Can you keep that up? We will find out. All champions. Yeah, it's a lot of champions. It's way too many champions. And we go home now. Let's see if you can keep them up. I don't think so. Honestly, I do not think so. And keep our army up for a while. Let's kill the kobolds. And he has a bunch of farmers on the stall. Okay, absolutely demolishing my army here. Too bad though. Keep healing. Definitely need more warriors. Three builds on the farm can keep up 20 army. That's interesting. That is interesting. Pretty good rate. I've got to say. <laughs> Definitely an experienced player. I could just say from the micro. <laughs> Thank you. 
He doesn't let himself get split up. Again, a pretty, pretty good fight for us, honestly. But uh, the army is just too big. And he never starts starving. There you go. Not starving now. There we go. Still too big, I guess. Still too big. GG, you play? Lion too strong. Hmm. Food were going down. I should have played the long game longer. I just thought that he would never actually start starving, but he fully started, man. I should have just waited, man. I should have just waited. He got a, an army that were way too big for him to handle. And I didn't uh, think that it actually were. But obviously, man, getting 20 plus army, no clan can keep that up. No clan can keep that up. It's 20, bang goes up and the resources well the food were first stable but then it goes straight down i guess that he had nothing else then at that point will be probably the one to win the game check the rest yeah yeah we'll probably win the game here <laughs> the dragon has a lot of gold here uh he nah maybe the dragon the dragon has still a lot in here and he got full sick um if the boar and dragon don't start fighting dragon scouted your fight oh, okay oh i didn't summon my monster rat that's true don't think if i would have changed i uh, don't think that would have changed the game that much the what if what would have changed the game 100 percent a lot is when i just uh listened to my first idea and just don't engage into the fight. Just let him wait. Just let him start starving. His army is way too big. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It were the altar. I see. <laughs> it were it were the altar, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Ah, uh, unlucko. Unlucko. Not really a lot happening there, right? The dragon, what's the dragon doing? Usual free for all manner would be to now go for the line because, yeah, extremely hurt at this point. Be pretty good. Like most of these monks are not even getting faith at this moment, they are just uh, going for. By the way, the lion didn't have any gold at all uh, because. Up, up, up. Can we go out of there? There we go. Uh, you just went for faith. You can uh, get army with faith. So you just get your faith relic. You get a bunch of monks. And the monks, monks get faith. And with that faith you get an army. Basically. The Draco Jordan squad. Yeah, man. We were by far the least. 
Yeah, it's how it goes. That's how it goes. <laughs> I had a bunch of stone here. There were a lot of things I could have still done at this game. I just wanted to do something against the uh, lion. I think I might have won the other two players of the game. Because the lion will get out of control very quickly. Because of the favorite. If you don't... Uh, Use the faith to get an army. You can't just get the take the faith to win the game, basically. So, might as well do that. Uh, it's not as easy as before, but now you just gotta build like the the new monument right next to the middle. And I think he has a relatively short time window in which he's gonna uh, win the game out, like six months, nine months, something around there. And uh, not really, not really, but. Uh, there